This short video will guide you through the installation of the DS Brown Matrix 502 Asphaltic Expansion Joint System. After determining the location of the joint, lay out and mark the cutout area by measuring off the joint center. The new joint must be between 20 to 24 inches wide. Cut the marked surface layer down to the concrete deck. A minimum depth of 2 inches is required for the installation. Next, break out and remove all material between the saw cuts, including any waterproofing, to form the joint cutout. The deck surface in the expansion gap must be level to allow the bridging plates to lay flat. You may need to repair the deck surface using rapid setting concrete. Next, all vertical and horizontal surfaces of the cutout must be cleaned and dried. Abrasive blasting may be needed to obtain intact surfaces. It's critical to have a sound, dry, clean, and profiled substrate. So repeat the cleaning and drying process immediately before placing the backer rod and binder. We recommend using a hot compressed air lance or handheld torch. After installing the backer rods and taping the edges, pour Matrix 502 binder into the joint cutout and screed to cover all exposed surfaces. You want to achieve a minimum thickness of 1 32nd of an inch and no more than 1 8th inch, covering all surfaces as thinly as possible. The binder application temperature must be between 380 and 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you're ready to install the bridging plates. After cutting the plates to cover the full length of the joint without overlapping, center the plates over the existing expansion gap and embed them in the hot binder. All of the prepared horizontal and vertical surfaces of the joint cutout, including the bridging plates, must be sealed with the Matrix 502 binder. Next, you'll mix the aggregate and binder. First, heat the SBG aggregate to between 275 and 375 degrees Fahrenheit using an air lance or rotating drum mixer to remove dust and moisture. Monitor the aggregate temperature with a handheld calibrated digital sensor. Then add the Matrix 502 binder heated to between 380 and 410 degrees to the aggregate in the mixer. Use a ratio of one gallon of binder per every 50 pound bag of aggregate. Minor variations in that ratio are okay. Be sure the aggregate is completely coated and the mixture is between 250 to 350 degrees for placement. Pour all of the Matrix 502 mixture into the joint cutout as quickly as possible. Break the mixture to desired thickness, level with the deck surface. For a typical two inch deep lockout, you won't need to layer the material. For deeper joints, flood the leveled mixture surface with matrix binder to fill any voids before placing the next layer. Using a water jet capable roller of at least one and a half tons, compact the mixture going across the joint and then lengthwise to smooth it. Compact it until you're satisfied with the appearance. Next, heat the completed surface to remove all moisture, being careful not to catch the joint on fire. Place a thin layer of binder over the surface, extending one inch over the pavement. Duct tape can be used as a guide. You may need to reapply binder to areas where it has soaked through to ensure coverage. Uniformly scatter the dress aggregate over the binder to cover it completely. In colder weather, you may need to warm the top layer of binder before placing the dress aggregate. Finally, roll the joint to embed the dress aggregate. Allow the joint to cool to ambient temperature before opening the roadway. While it is weather dependent, the normal curing time is one to three hours. For detailed instructions, including criteria for installation and a handy Matrix 502 calculator to help you determine the proper amount of materials, please visit dsbrown.com, click on Bridges, and then Expansion Joint Systems, then select 
Matrix 502 Asphaltic Expansion Joint.